in Hyderabad. A complaint has been filed in the Hyderabad University over the screening of the controversial series at the university campus. And uh, this is, uh, you know, we have uh, the student wing of the RSS on Monday that filed a complaint with the authorities alleging that the student screening, uh, the, the, the screen, uh, screening of the BBC documentary at that campus. So, so students there say it's because of the censorship that they screened the film to protest against censorship. Let's just listen to what the ABVP had to say. In the name of campus fraternity movement, they are spoiling campus culture. So these people, they organized a talk and they screened a BBC documentary. The document, the documentary was banned by government of India. And these people giving uh, Nara against the government of India, Nara against the government, uh, Narendra Modi ji, and hatred speeches toward the nation. So we are deeply condemning it. So then we get to know the information we uh, told university administration, this is the video the banned video, whichever they, dis they, whichever they screened in North Shopping Complex. So you should stop that uh, uh, screening and you have to take action on those students, those who are organizing illegal activities inside the campus. If Modi ji ko agar clean sheet mila hoa to, Modi ji kyun darte hai? Modi ji usko kyun ban kare hai? Agar wo sunste hai ki uno कुछ गलत नहीं किया है और उनको क्लीन चिट मिला है तो मोदी जी उसको ट्विटर पे बैन करने की क्या जरूरत है क्यों करें ये तो मोदी जी ने इसके जवाब देना चाहिए well, let's go across to Uma now for more and Uma tell us what happened when was this when did this screening take place and the ABVP has complained to the university authorities Gargi, the screening happened on Saturday night on the University of Hyderabad campus. What we understand is that this is a movement, uh, there is a group called the Fraternity Movement, which is a kind of a brotherhood movement is what we are being told for all students. And uh, they had in fact organized the screening, not in an auditorium, but in an open area on the university campus where they have put up this projector. They have in fact uh, tweeted through their handle as well, which uh, has uh, blue tick marks, which means it's a verified number of the Fraternity Movement. And they have uh, uh, shared pictures which we are uh, we can also uh, show to our uh, viewers saying that about uh, 200 people seem to have gathered there and the screening was happening and uh, it is subsequently that the university authorities seem, seem to have come to know about it. What we understand is that the security which was deployed at the university had gone there but they were unable to stop the screening. What I must point out is that uh, security here is not the police, but private outsourced security, which is present on the campus. Uh, that is where, uh, that is what happened. So they were not able to stop the screening. This happened in an area called what is popularly called as the resistance area, because this is the area where, in fact, on the University of Hyderabad in 2016, after the death of Rohit Vemula, there were protests that were organized subsequently. In fact, media and other organizations uh, which could, uh, uh, you know, uh, capture what is happening inside the campus, that was in fact uh, stopped at uh, that time. So that area is called resistance area. Uh, I spoke to the police. They have not yet lodged. Uh, they have not yet lodged any kind of uh, formal FIR. Uh, they are saying that they will be examining the matter and acting on any complaint that comes their way. I also spoke to the university authorities who have as of now uh, not acted on uh, any of the uh, on this issue they have not issued any statement on the issue but they are uh, they have asked for reports from both the security as well as the dean of student welfare asking them to explain what may have happened uh, in this uh, matter what we do understand is that the legal position after the documentary by the bbc the part 1 of the documentary was aired on tuesday we do know that uh, the ministry of INB had issued orders asking for all uh, social media handles, uh, Twitter, as well as YouTube to remain any, uh, to remove any kind of clips. They also asked for the links uh, to be removed. So in this case, we can hear on video one of the representatives of the fraternity movement. Uh, they themselves had posted the video saying that uh, we are doing this in order to protest censorship and we do not want the government uh, to decide on what we should hear, what we should talk about, what we should see. And that's the reason why we are protesting against the uh, uh, the uh, the stopping of the documentary by the Indian government. Per se, they are not making any statement on either the documentary itself or the contents of the documentary. That's the position as of now. Back to you.